Two groups of opposing supporters goad each other outside the main vote counting centre in Atlanta. And amongst each group, there are some who are heavily armed. Tensions are high, and the police are trying to keep the different political supporters apart. Can you explain to us why you've come armed like this? I came to my city with guns, and we know their intent. Who's they? Trump supporters. Right. Do you feel you know, threatened by them? They come into my city that they don't live in with guns. Yes, I feel very threatened. The police urged the Trump loyalists to leave the scene. The chasm between these two sides of Georgia is going to take time to bridge. Hi, you're a Trump supporter. Go. Can you tell go. me why you've come dressed like this? For security. Why? Well, what do you feel insecure about? What do you feel insecure about? On our rights. On the people. But you've come heavily armed as if you're going to war. You didn't see them all day today, heavily armed? I, I didn't, I'm afraid. I saw a lot of people celebrating in Freedom Park. But tell me what your fears are. My fears are that they're going to destroy this nation. Both sides are feeling decidedly edgy. Black people are still not seen as people. And this, this guy that just got voted out of office is still spewing a lot of racial tension. We're just here to protect. That's it. Are you trying to separate the two sides? You no, ma'am. No separation at all. We're just here to protect the people. There's been a lot of threats being made. There's been a lot of wild things being said. We just want to keep the peace. That's all. That's why we're here. The reason why I have my gun is to defend, not to attack, not to intimidate. It's just to defend. But why do you feel you need to defend? What's it you feel the threat from? What is the threat? Well, the threat is, the threat is my skin color. You know, there's a lot of people that don't like my skin color. But there is jubilation too. In the last four years, I have not been able to fly the American, fly the American flag, like like personally, without thinking, okay, this guy. Now I can actually fly the American flag and think of my nation, a country that actually has room for me, with Kamala Harris, with anybody else. It's going to take a lot of effort. It's going to take a lot of unity. But I think over time, we will be able to come together as a nation. It's important to have someone who is going to heal the divisions within the country rather than intensify those like Trump was. And I think Biden is going to do a good job. <laughs> there is hope and they're hanging on to that right now. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Georgia.